Now, having trained professionally for the past 15 years, the way I feel in my body is that I'm a series of springs and levers. Now, from the last exercise, it almost felt like I wanted to bring the kettlebell down and then immediately fire it back up. Kind of like a spring gathering tension, lats nice and tight, build the platform and press back up. So we're gonna be doing a press from the top and then back up. Well, how do you start with a single kettlebell here? Okay, I'm already set up. Assist up, pull the elbow down into the lat, press back up, okay? Pulling the bell down and press back up. And you should notice that it's following a very sim similar pattern down to up. One more. Okay, doing this exercise. As I'm in the rack position, I am completely engaging my quadriceps. You can see that when I engage my quads, I pull my kneecaps up. Simultaneously, I'm squeezing my glutes. So nothing in my lower body is moving. I am rooting myself into the ground. So even though I'm pressing up, I'm envisioning that I'm pushing my body into the earth. So if you do that properly, now everything's tight from the toes all the way to the muscles that are pushing the kettlebell to lock out. Let's do the same drill, but we're gonna apply it to two kettlebells. I'll go through my ritual. Nice and tight. I'm gonna take a breath through my nose, a sharp inhale. I'm just gonna push press it so I can get to that top position. Okay, nice and tight, pulling the elbows down. Press. Now I want you to practice five repetitions, both with a single kettlebell and double kettlebell for three rounds. Make sure and film yourself so you can see if you're losing tightness in any of the patterns.